All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get a free GitHub account with unlimited private repositories if you're a student. So this is very useful for collaborating with other students or submitting assignments to your teachers while not having to have all your assignments public for everyone. First thing you want to do is go to education.github.com. And then from there, you have to be logged in to GitHub already. So create an account first and then go to students. And then here you're going to see the GitHub Student Developer Pack. Click Get the Pack. And here you can see all the benefits you get. So you don't only get a free GitHub account with unlimited private repositories. There's also a bunch of other stuff. There's AWS Hosting. You can also get a DigitalOcean VPS for free for 10 months. Plus if you use my referral code in the description, you can get an extra two months. I have another video on that that'll be in the card above and also in the description as well and here you can see you get unlimited private repositories on github so that's definitely useful for your projects you don't want all of them to be public so it's good to have that and there's a few other things as well like if you want to get a free domain name for one year it has to be a .me domain name but that's good for school projects uh, even with SSL certification uh, so if you have to do a project on progressive web apps that need to be hosted through uh, HTTPS, this is good for you. And if you're a game development student, you can get Unreal Engine 4 for free as well here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the top here and click Get Your Pack. It's going to ask you if you're a student. Now just saying yes doesn't prove you're a student. You're going to have to prove a little bit more. So here it's going to ask for your full name. It's going to ask for some sort of validation that you're a student. When I did my validation to get my two years free uh, a couple of years back, I just used my student ID card that I use at the library or anything else. Uh, I don't go to a, I didn't go to a, like a very fancy big school or anything like that. Uh, it was a pretty small college in Montreal. Uh, I think it says I'm a computer science student on there, so there's that. But it seems like they're pretty lenient about it, and they'll accept pretty much anything that proves you're a student at least somewhat. Uh, so you want to put your school name here and your year of graduation. Let them know why you're going to use GitHub. Um, so if you're watching this video, you're probably going to be using it for your school projects. Uh, so just let them know how. Submit the request. Now when I submitted mine, I think it took uh, two days to get it back to get the student status. Now they should notify you by email once you get the student status, but if you want to check to make sure yourself, you can go into your GitHub account, go into settings, then in billing, and it should say here that your plan is changed to a developer plan with unlimited private repositories, and you should have a coupon that's redeemed here, $7 off per month for two years. So you can see mine expires in November, because that's when I made it in November two years ago. Once you get your proof of being a student, you can go back here onto the uh, pack page for the GitHub education program, click get your pack and then scroll down here and you should be able to see that you have this and you also you have other things too like here I redeem my digital ocean key you can see your code I hid mine but you can see it should be there and everything else should be accessible to you anyways that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if it worked for you and you got your student access then please like the video and subscribe for more videos like this and also share it with your friends too who are going to be starting school soon. It's be super useful for them. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.